Longi is now recognized as one of the world's leading solar technology companies. A key element of its stated mission to make the best of solar energy to build a green world is the company's commitment to technology innovation. Longi currently operates five business units covering monosilicon wafers, cells and modules, commercial and industrial distributed solar solutions, green energy solutions and hydrogen equipment. I think in general we bring a lot of new products and new technology to SNC this time. You know, I think our our product technology, our show, I think pretty much divide to three phases. One is the sale technology, second one is the module product, the third one is uh, applications. Okay. For the sale technology, you know, Longji had, you know, made a new record for the efficiency of different sales for many, many times. This time, you know, we bring a brand new world record for the Tatum sale technology, which is the HJD plus Postvestic Tatum technology. It's a new record, it's 31.8%. Yeah. And for the module side, you know, we, we launched a new N-type module product, which is HEMO7. You know, meanwhile, you know, together with our upgraded HEMO6. Yeah. Um, more importantly, we bring a lot of new applications to the market. For example, for the residential market, we have the uh, digital system, which is called the Sunflower system to the market. You know, for the residential, you know, for the CNR market, we have BIPV, uh, which is upgraded BIPV with our HEMO6 product, you know. And for the UT scale project, you know, we also developed our own digital system, which can help customers have end-to-end, -end, you know, system solution, uh, life cycle management system. So, yeah, there are pretty much a lot of new highlights from Longji. Well, I think the industry focuses too much on, you know, the name of technology, N-type, P-type. So, um, as a professional player and an industry leader, I mean, we basically focus more on customer value, not just the NP or something. You know, for example, why now everyone is talking about NTAP? Because in theory, now NTAP have better efficiency. However, you know, Longi HEMO6, which is P-TAP, now actually is the highest efficient, the highest efficiency among all the commercial commercialized product. So, uh, even higher than commercialized uh, NTAP. So for Longji, so the key thing, I think, is the focus on customer value. In solar industry, the customer value, I think, basically is two uh, uh, aspects. One, of course, LCOE. Okay, so how can we bring better or lower LCOE to customers, whatever N type or P type? Okay. Secondly, we should design and develop different kind of product for different segmentations. So if you are a house owner or you are the owner of industry or companies, you have a rooftop or you are professional IPP investors. So that actually the requirement for the product is different. The value is different. So that's why we have different kind of technology, different kind of product for different segmentations. I think that will be also, I believe, the trade of the industry in future. Well, wow, we are in, you know, really in a great time for the global energy transition. We do see almost every market we covered have very good growth in the past one or two years. So the whole world is really in a good pace of energy transition, let's say. Uh, if you look at the number, currently one third of Longi is uh, uh, the market is based in Europe and the United States. Okay, so. Then around 45% from domestic market was China. And then, then the rest of that uh, is the rest of the world. I mean, China, Europe, US, and the uh, rest of the world. 
So currently, we see that there's a great potential, I mean, from Europe, continuous growth. Meanwhile, also the great potential from the China market. So that's two major markets that we are focused on for the uh, major growth. However, we also, you know, developed a great channel, I mean, investor channel, and also our manpower in different kind of countries, you know, I mean, the plan is that Longji is a global player. We want to, you know, participate on global ch energy transition in every country. That's our plan. So meanwhile, I think we, I, I would like to emphasize a very important strategy of Longji, not only just sales and marketing, decentralize our manufacturing business. I mean, it's a very important strategy for Longji now and in future. So Longji currently have the most capacity out of China in the industry. I think in future, the, the plan is that Longji always keep at least 25% of our manufacturing capacity, I mean, out of China, I mean, close to the market, close to the customers. Yeah. I think you see some of our announcements saying that we, we're going to have our target around 20, uh, 80 to 85. That's our target. However, I, I would like to you know, point that this number is based on you know, our forecast of the global demand. So basically inside of the company, what is our target? It's not a specific number. It's about the market share. So won't, Longji want to have, you know, want to achieve at least 25% of the global market share for module business. So, so 85 was a target based on something like a, a 480 gigawatt, I mean, module sh global demand. So if the demand is lower or higher, we will adjust the numbers. So basically, the market share is something we care about more than the numbers. Yeah.